Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to meet you virtually. How are you doing today? Okay. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Um, so, I mean, some people might already be well um, their way through Slow Horses, but some people might not even begun to watch it yet. Can you give us a super brief introduction to the show? So Slow Horses is set in a defunct unit of MI5 where spies that have done something to absolutely mess up their career are put. Um, it's kind of like a purgatory and in between between actually being part of the service and being fired. Um, Jackson Lamb, who is played by Gary Oldman, is uh, the head of Slough House and is tasked with looking after the Slow Horses or, in other words, making their lives as difficult as possible until they decide to leave the service of their own accord. And obviously it's based on the books by Mick Heron, but adapted by the guy behind Veep and the thick of it. And that really shows in kind of the tone and the very British humour. Um, what was the appeal for you when you read the script? Definitely the writing. Um, Will Smith, uh, the head writer, creator and his team, um, Will had written on Veep, uh, which is one of my most favourite shows. Um, so as soon as I had picked up the script, I just, I understood the language of what he was trying to achieve with the script and where they were trying to go. I think it's a really incredible balance of, of drama and, and a spy espionage thriller and also with a real strong through line of comedy that's not played to be comedy, um, which I think is a really difficult thing to achieve, which I think they've done masterfully. And tell us a bit about your character, Roddy Ho. I mean, at some point, one of the other characters refers to him as a, an insufferable prick. And he's kind of that kind of geeky <laughs> hacker uh, character in some ways. But, you know, he's also very cutting and abrasive. So how did you see him and how did you prepare to play him? Um, <laughs> I am an insufferable prick. Uh, <laughs> so it wasn't a very hard uh, character study. Um, no, I think... You know, having read the script, I think it would have been really easy for me to paint Roddy with a brush of just, you know, his abrasive, his dismissive. And I think in conversations that I had with James Hall's our director, it it really read that, you know, that that wouldn't be appealing to an audience. And actually for Roddy as a person, it doesn't give him anything that is likable about him. And I saw a lot of qualities in him that, you know, were just misunderstood. Um so, you know, we worked really hard to find the light and shade to Roddy and the, and the points in the script and, and the show where he is actually genuinely helpful and, you know, what is he trying to serve? I think just for himself, though, he's just trying to serve that, you know, he knows everything and he can help whenever he wants. He can give the information out whenever he wants or he can take it back. It's all about him grandstanding and being, uh, you know, the most knowledgeable out of the group. So... I think in terms of uh, preparing to play, being the most knowledgeable in the room, it wasn't really a uh, far cry from who I am as a person. <laughs> and it's got, it's got such an incredible cast. I mean, you know, from Gary Oldman, Kirsten Scott, Scott Thomas, and then, you know, other people like Jack Loudon and Olivia Cook. So what was it like working? It was very much an ensemble cast, really. So what was it like working together? It was actually, it was incredible. It was, it's, it is, it's mind blowing to think that, you know, I get to sit amongst these people and call these people my, my colleagues and friends and being able to learn from them on set, seeing how they, they construct their moments, how they make their choices, how they approach their character and being, just being able to take little bits from, from all of them um, has been incredibly, incredibly eye-opening for me. Um, it's been an absolute joy. That, I mean, pure and simple, that's, that's all I can say. And obviously you're Australian and this feels very quintessentially British. Not, not only is humour, but I mean, it's sort of rainy and drab and everyone's kind of a failure. Um, you know, what did you take perhaps from the, you know, the time you spent in British theatre and you could kind of apply to this role? You seem very at home in, in the kind of context. I think, you know, I think what's really great about uh, every, you know, all the leading cast is that everyone has a really strong foundation in theatre. So we have that kind of common language of, you know, trusting one another with, with what you're going to get thrown. Um, so there's no real kind of, I guess, pretty acting is, 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 is a way that I put it. You know, there's no one just trying to like look a certain way. Everyone is like really invested in the moment. How can we make this better? So what's really great about that is that all there's no ego everything is up for grabs and it's all a sense of play. Um, so having that, having 
that sense of play on set is just you know it's it's worth its weight in gold really and i think that only comes when you have that kind of strong foundation in in uh, being in in theater and having had a rehearsal room and i think you've mentioned before that you know perhaps in your home country there weren't that many opportunities perhaps for for an actor of color for someone of asian descent um and perhaps there are more opportunities here in the uk do you think that representation on screen is you know progressing in a positive way or do you think there's a lot of work still to be done yeah, I mean, I've been here for uh, about the last 10, 10 or so years now, and I've definitely seen the industry, you know, not in leaps and bounds the way that I would have liked it, but definitely now there's uh, a big kind of push towards being more representative and the, and the kinds of roles that I get to read for now are, are way more str- uh, in depth. They're not just kind of one, two liners of, of dialogue, which serve nothing towards the story and just being put there as a token piece. The thing that I love about playing Roddy uh, when I picked up the script is, you know, he's an archetypal role in that he is, yes, he's the computer geek in, in this kind of circumstance. But what's really great about him is that you might see in other shows is that he's not, uh, he's not subservient. He's very far from helpful and he doesn't want to play with the group. He wants to live by his own rules and do what he wants to do. So being able to play that kind of uh, that combativeness against the the rest of the group has been such a joy. I mean, something that I've never had the privilege to do. So I'm looking forward to hopefully doing more of that at some point. Fantastic. Well, I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with us and can't wait for everyone else to watch the whole series. Thanks so much.